Hi guys, back again on my channel and today Bevinci is good enough to send us a one LED bulb to try. Now this bulb as for Bevinci is very durable bulb. It's even stayed three years warranty right out the box. So possibly this is a good build bulb. But again guys, I'm never used Bevinci and this is an honest review. So not really sure what to expect inside. So let's have a look. Even it's still covered in plastic. So we are going to tear it up. just like a smartphone packaging okay so it's pretty light okay okay so we have one manual and let's just have a look oh it's a very simple manual nothing much to expect here okay so let's have a look at the bulb the bulb is surprisingly tiny um, uh, a little copper plate very thin copper plates and uh, have a built-in driver inside most of you guys know that i explained how to differentiate a good led but i can't say it now because um, these bulbs come with three years warranty so perhaps it have a good engineering inside because a good led bulb it should have an external driver because when the bulb is overheat it will heat up the driver and it will fail this design approach have a built-in uh, driver inside the LED bulb which I don't really prefer but somehow let's see how it performs maybe they solve the issue of overheating the driver and then as you can see here this is a high grade aluminium and there's a Bevinci brand here yeah. this supposedly performs better and then the cable here is a very good cable it doesn't have the woven cable outside which water may absorb this one is just a simple plain rubber the water cannot get inside the bulb because it just slip away so the connector here 9006 which is equivalent to H13 or H11 whichever it is I am not really sure but um, so far it has no polarity or it has polarity I'm not sure this one is error free means if you switch the positive and negative uh, in the opposite it still work so I'm not really sure on that but we're going to try about the LED chip which is most important it looks like CSP Korean chip so far because um, Lumilate will have an indicator here like Lumilate uh, trademark and a gold connector you will see but this one don't have so possibly this is CSP chip uh, the Korean Seoul CSP uh, let's jump on the car and we're going to get a review on this okay guys uh, another important things which I need to highlight here we are living in Malaysia and if you guys know it's not about the color of the light that causing you to have problem with lows on the road like for example some people say if you use white you get caught and you got fine now it's not about the color of the light and the brightness of it it's how you label the light that is what matter okay regardless of any color of the bulb or any brightness if you don't label it to the right position which don't affect or blind any other people it will cause danger okay. so make sure if you use LED bulbs align your bulb properly okay now the law enforcement will surely smart enough not to get you in fine if you do that okay so make sure putting LED bulbs in reflector type of headlights align it guys don't leave it unaligned okay this is more powerful than halogen or in incandescent so make sure align your bulb properly we're going to put this in the fog lamp applications we're going to test the performance as you can see this is the fog lamp of the avanza 2016 model and this is formulation variant here you have sort of a soft plastic that covers the fog lamp and the bay you just make sure if you install on the right turn your steering to the left so it's easy for you to access what you do here is just you know split this up you can see the bulb is just right there what you do just simple twist put do the job and that's it so as you can see the bulb is exposed to install this, the bulb for the new LEDs uh, just reverse the same process Okay, this is important now you can see this type of bulb is the one that you can align so as you can see now the bulb is not aligned so what you do for fog lamp application you need to make sure it's 90 degree so the the level of the light would be to the left and to the right it's which is wider so if you're going for high beam the bulb should be 
180 degree so that gives you maximum efficiency for fog lamp if you want wider application it's 90 degree if you want higher like high beam twist it to 180 degree therefore you got all the focus and calibration you need so for this one we doing for fog lamp so we are going to use 90 degree option okay so here my pen will twist um, okay yep stop okay so as you can see now the bulb is aligned with the perpendicular of the reflector so we will do the same for the left but before that we will do a demo the different brightness so as you can see these ones look very very favorable because it's white and bright but here because of the incandescence it's look quite dim okay therefore if you use LED application in the reflector make sure it is calibrated if not it will blind people okay so this one as you can see is very bright now the day is still bright as you can see here so when it gets dark it will be more brighter so if you see this is bright then it will be more brighter in the dark okay we will do both of them and then we test it when it's already dark so guys we are completely in a dark area now we are going to test now actually we are inside the car cabin and then um, we will see how the fog lamp perform and my pillar here will, will turn on okay turn on so this is just the fog lamp itself you see um, so definitely you can drive with just the fog lamp itself the bulb is quite bright um, if you see outside the cabin which I will go now So from the outside that's how bright it is okay and you can see the straight line as i said when you properly align the fog lamp will have a straight line like this you see this is this is very bright in fact i can show you that this the main headlamp isn't on what you see there is just a led drl lighting for the angel eye of this thing so you can see there's a blue demon eye but they just uh DRL lighting so the only thing that lighting up is this fog lamp see so if you guys think on this bulb uh, is brighter I can say of course yes and see the cutting lines there it is perfectly horizontal and straight up so it doesn't blind people on the fog lamp but if you guys planning to put on the headlights the main headlight I mean you need to properly align because it will be blind people this is bright actually and as you can see the angle itself is quite wide it's definitely quite wide you can cover two lanes with just the problem itself okay now so my fellow will turn on the main headlight see this is how bright it when it's have a combination with the main headlight so imagine you have a bright fog light as well as the bright headlights so this is very very much effective on uh, night driving the headlamp we are using here is a very high quality by led headlamp so definitely you will see a straight curve but if you turn on the fog light as you can see here see it's much brighter uh, again guys properly align it because if you not align it you will blind people especially if you put this thing on the headlights but in our application we put in the fog lamp I don't say the brightest but it is bright okay so we'll continue uh, on driving with only the fog light to show you guys it's capable of again guys this is recording from the cabin uh, we are only using fog lamp right here right now okay so we continue to drive okay so this is how the drive with only the fog lamp see the the road clearly visible right you can see it's clearly bright okay 